hi guys just to mention uh, some of you will will have this problem but some of you understand some of you some of you realize some of you don't but you need to replace your EFI on your local storage as well not only on your USB drive which is which is something I'm gonna show you right now so open your partition wizard um, um, I will I will do this uh, the same process with you um, run as administrator okay open it um, and boom and right now you gonna see disk one and disk two which is uh, which is uh, my gen general USB flash drive okay which is removable and on this drive I I already have some data which is Catalina I usually have it on my USB stick uh, for quite a long time so I have as you may may see this is a UFI right on my local uh, on my USB drive and the second one uh, I mean first one which is uh, my local storage which is the system um, you I rename it but it's just a system uh, UFI system partition which is uh, you can see from a type right here and the second one which is the same uh, EFI system partition um, you probably already tried to install and use this uh, USB stick and use this um, EFI uh, folder and if you want to boot from your USB from uh, not from your USB up from your local storage from your, your local <coughs> surface uh, storage you need to change or modify uh, here as well well I'm, I'm gonna show you right now uh, first of all we are gonna unhide um, this partition which is I usually use it so like let's say something on and use it right now on your disk uh, Windows disks okay I said the double with the, the letter here okay and I, I tried to unhide just to show you my uh, local EFI and set uh, usually like Z X Y uh, whatever um okay I will unhide I uh, just need some take some time. Um, while it's just doing some processing, I will open the second app, which is uh, which is uh, plus plus. I uh, somewhere explore plus plus and run as administrator as well. Okay, just to hide this and open your. PC. This is my PC, and I need some time, but it's all almost there. Okay, okay. I just what I did is just unhide my USB storage EFI, which is um, which is uh, here, which is here. I just okay. This is my. Um, USB storage EFI as far as I know okay it's a backup you see the, uh, I have backup folder for Clover version or open core version boot as well um, even documents some kind of documents um, some information cloud installation whatever um, and the second thing I just need to see what I have here Okay, um, try to see. Oh, mm, this is a partition Y, and I just don't see it for now. Okay, this is my partition Z and uh, partition W. Okay, I try to open Z. This is my uh, local, this is my local partition. Um, and you can see this is uh, well I, w what I only don't have here Apple backup boot um, 
GenoS, which is uh, which is different system I tried mainly on my computer here, uh, even Ubuntu, which is uh, well, I've removed, but y you probably don't have this kind of files here. But what you need to do is just download EFI. Um, if I am, for example, I will have th these d uh, EFI fo folders. Um, and what I need to do, open it and you will see boot and clover version. And you need to copy this and paste right over here, not only your USB stick, okay? Not only your USB partition, which is, in my case, it's a uh, system Z, uh, Z, okay? This is my, I mean, uh, it's right over here, okay? Um, usually try to back up your data, especially your EFI folder. This is your EFI folder. Um, create the, the backup folder and just put here uh, your Clover EFI or OpenCore EFI as well as the boot folder or just move them just just to make sure you back up. I, I, I don't want to back up right now because I'm I, I just showing you create backup and put them and then paste uh, your uh, for your surface uh, files okay uh, in my case it's open core open core and um, you may see this is a EFI folder and I've uh, already have here open core but the, uh, I've, you see this is a backup version as well for boot files uh, and uh, for Clover EFI okay um, this is a um, Again, this is my um, this is my USB storage, and second one one is my EFI. Okay, this is my EFI for my computer for my Surface Pro, which is uh, just a mess. But you only care these two folders, okay? Boot folders and Open Core. You can you know go ahead and create backup folder and put every th everything that you have here. You probably already have some boot folders or just boot maybe Clover uh, as well folder, but backup it uh, right over here. Or just, you know, put some day some some files which you have. And you need to use uh, these two, okay? For boot and for OS, which is op open core o or C, right? Or for open core. And this is probably it it's all you need and just use this syst uh, system EFI update your system EFI for local and uh, for USB storage use uh, explore plus plus and um, when you're done you you don't need you don't want to see every time on your PC these two drives which is not necessary um, so just select them and hide them when you're done when you replace files on your local storage as, as well as on your usb stick partition hide these okay and see this operation painting okay this is a two uh, this is my system again efi system partition and efi system partition don't, don't touch any of these those are system those are not system files those mainly for um, for your data or for your local storage okay um, and apply as well okay uh, when you're done just uh, to, to, to close this okay quit the program and you will see as well this is my Catalina USB drive this is my cross, cross drive for Mac OS and Windows as well it's removable and see seenable on both my system Okay, and local disk for Windows, and um, in eject my uh, to eject my USB flash drive. Okay, so um, right now I I don't need my USB drive with uh, the the updated EFIs EFI folder. Okay, and when you boot into your system, try to set not your your when you're done you install your mac os but you only need to boot from your local storage you need to set in your 
UEFI menu in uh, BIOS BIOS settings, right? You need to set as a local storage, not as as on your USB storage, okay? But your local storage. That's probably it. Thanks for watching. This is a easy step how to boot from your your local system from your from your computer, not from USB stick. Okay, have time. See you. Okay, restart your computer. Okay, just restart and and you need to hold uh, power and plus plus button. Just just a touch a bit. Okay, uh, just a bit. Okay, restart. Okay, and. Boot uh, select boot camp configuration and use your internal storage, okay? Not USB storage. I don't have USB stick. This is a Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi card. So you don't uh, you don't need to use. Uh, you only you only need to use internal storage, okay? This is a pretty much what you need to do. And just when you all done, you have partition for your Mac OS for your Windows, just restart and okay, and you will see bootable or I have to say dual boot system. Okay, yeah, cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.